When I was a child, my mom always told me, Angel, when you were born, all the angels came from heaven. Do you know why? Because you're special. On June 16, 2018, I launched my show, Have Faith, Let It Begin. I always wanted to change the world, share my personal testimony, share real life stories and motivational topics to set out to go out and change the world. Join me each and every week, Monday through Friday, because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello everyone, my name is Angel, and welcome to another edition of Have Faith, Let It Begin. On this Wednesday, April 17, 2019, I want to thank everyone for your concerns, your words of wisdom, your ability to write emails to me and ask me to basically uh, know that they're praying for me. I want to conclude this chapter, which is chapter 3 about my depression, by giving you an update. In the last couple of months, I have gotten myself back uh, in order. I have been able to overcome some anger issues, some insecurities, and I have begun to better my health and put myself in a position to be in better shape, in the best shape I've ever been. I want to start off by thanking my friends and family that have been there for me since the beginning, and those that have never heard about the fact that I was in a depression that reached out to me during these last uh, three chapters. So I thank Brian for always being there for me and allowing me to vent. I thank Ashley for reaching out and checking on me. To my friend Chip and Sigfredo, I know I didn't really get a chance to tell you exactly what was going on, but it's your calls and your uh, constant uh, reinforcement that has always kept me um, going in the right path. Folks, I just wanted to make this a very short and easy episode because I don't want to drag this on any longer than it should. But I want to share with each and every one of you that when you're battling a storm, when you're facing obstacles, when you don't feel good about certain things in life, it is okay to reach out to someone. It is okay to share with someone how you're feeling. It is not something to be embarrassed about, but it's something to be proud of if And I stress if you reach out and share with somebody what you're feeling. And that's what you should be proud of. Be proud of reaching out and telling somebody how you feel. In in conclusion, I have begun to read the Bible more. I have prayed to God and asked Him to guide me. And... As I began this small depression, I realized that I dug myself a hole. And the hole that I was in, I was not able to climb out of. But it was when I started to reach out to the Lord and ask Him for forgiveness and ask Him for help. It was when I was venting to my friends and reaching out to others and saying how I felt. It was reaching out to my colleagues at work and letting them know that I was not happy with the way that our environment had changed. It is knowing when to choose your battles and knowing how to overcome the evil that can present itself. That's when I was able to reach out and have God reach His hands to me and pull me out of this hole. I want to tell each and every one of you something very important. Never at any point in time did I fake any episodes while I was dealing with this depression. Instead, it was this show that inspired me to be a better person. This show has inspired me to make sure that I hold truth and hold myself accountable for all the things I've ever done. I have shared with you since the very beginning that I would never hold anything back, that I would never keep anything from you, and that is why I've taken the time to talk to you about these chapters about my depression, 
because it's something I'm not embarrassed about. It's something that I'm proud of as far as how this outcome has become, how this depression has become a very successful outcome is what I meant to say. And I know that there are many of you that have written to me that are dealing with the same type of things or something similar, but have yet to reach out to anyone. So I'm hoping that what I have done for you today in sharing and bearing all my thoughts and telling each and every one of you, yes, that I had a depression and that I'm slowly coming out of it is something that maybe you as viewers, as listeners who are dealing with the same type of thing can reach out to somebody and also ask for forgiveness, for help, and for guidance. Guidance. God is always here for you. God is always in control. He will never let you fail. He will always pick you up, especially when you feel like you're so deep in a hole that you can't climb out of. I hope that each and every one of you learned something from this three chapters, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart as I look forward to closing this book and beginning a brand new novel, one that will help continue on this journey. And that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you today. I am happy to announce this, this depression, this depression is slowly becoming obsolete. It is slowly ending. And my new journey, my new look on life is becoming more clear. For half faith, let it begin. My name is Angel. God bless you. And I'll see you on Thursday, April 18th, 2019. Have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and it, yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready, fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story, each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.